Welcome again to Art Time with Jim Freehart. I'm really glad you're here today. And continuing with the Little Wave series from the last lesson, I'm going to show what it's like to sketch a wave that's coming directly at you rather than going to your left or your right, you know, looking down diagonally down the beach. This time I'm going to do a wave coming straight at you. It's a little more tricky in a certain way, but I think you'll, hopefully you'll get a sense of what I'm um, describing. This is all to do with perspective in creating a landscape that makes sense, or a seascape. So here we go. Um, this one is going to have, if it's coming right at us and it's a wave just starting to break, here's perhaps how it might might be a way to, to represent that. Here's the top of the wave coming up, breaking up into foam here, it's starting to fall over, but instead of making a big oval like that, this time because it's coming kind of right at us, this would be, this would be a really tall, a tall, uh, very tall oval straight up and down like that. The wave would be coming down like this, Here's the wave on the other side coming down. Again, we have a tall, really tall oval on this side, a tall oval on this side, and here's the wave breaking up and starting to fall over, and here would be the foam just, just starting to hit the, the water down below here. So here we go. Let's see if I can make this make sense to me and to you. So here's the wave, it's the top of the wave. Here's the line showing the wave coming over. Here's the, the foam breaking up on, here's the unbroken wave, top of the wave there, top of the wave here. And here's the, the lip of the wave right here. Right here. See if that's starting to make a little sense. I'm just moving this little part of the wave over a little bit where the foam starts breaking up, breaking up into some water drops. So there's what we're seeing now. This would be, these lines would all be kind of coming toward the center here, center of the drawing. And then here's, here's water in front that's just pretty much horizontal lines. Here it's lines coming almost straight up and down. And if we went really far away in that direction, those lines would be just like we did in our last sketch, which would be very uh, much more gently sloping, and they would they would eventually go from really steep lines to get less and less and less steep till the the angle gets changing like that. Same thing in this opposite direction. As we look down with the wave as it continues off to the left side of this drawing, these lines very steep right now would become much more relaxed and laying down like that. That would give you the feeling of um, looking, say you're standing on a point of land or on a beach and you're watching waves come in toward you. You could see the lines kind of like this on this side and see how these sort of connect and make an oval there and here these lines are connecting with and making an oval on the other side. Really tall oval almost straight up and down. So again, here's, here's the inside of the, the barrel of the wave. I'm just darken this a little bit more here. Here it is on uh, the reverse on the other side. I 
and I'm making it nice and dark in here. Smudging it. Smudging it here. And right in front of the foam that's just starting to splash in front of the wave, I'm gonna make some vertical streaks here like I did on the last drawing that will make it kind of give you an idea that it's reflective, smooth water in, right in front here. I'm breaking that up a little bit. Then I, I can also take, take my uh, pencil, I have a nice eraser, and kind of make a little bit of um, sort of a glow shiny part of the wave where I've erased the, the lines pretty much, erased the smudging. Same thing happens over here. I'm going to darken this. I'm going to darken this up at the top here. I'm kind of careful not to make my lines stand out too much here. I'm trying to make them a little bit invisible, unless I'm going to take the time and make my lines go exactly parallel to the my guidelines that I already put on there. Okay, there's the wave coming over. Here it's getting it's a little bit darker without so much light shining on it. Here would be a little bit, oops. I'm getting that back. <laughs> here's, here's my, uh, a little reflective light on the wave here. Dark here, dark up there. Makes that shiny reflective part really stand out more. Again, I'm gonna go darken this even more inside here. bit dark on either side of the little, the little um, <clears throat> glistening part of the wave, if you will, or the, the shiny reflective part. Same thing on the opposite side. Dark, very dark, dark inside the, the barrel of the wave there. dark along here, and then dark in front of that glistening light, so right here. So, dark here, dark there, and the shine on the wave here. Now if that shininess is happening down here on the curve of the wave, that would be reversed up here. It would be up at the top of the wave. So that's on the outside of the curve. This is on the inside of the curve. And that would have the, the light shining on it right about here. If the sun were kind of high overhead. And then the same thing, would, the reverse would happen here. This would sort of cup the light and reflect it to your eye. Here. And here. It's the first time I've used a, an eraser in any of my lessons. <laughs> I teach in the schools and I don't usually use, well, I don't usually have erasers, so I try and help people learn how to take what they think might be a mistake and turn it into something else. So, there we go. That's pretty much it. I'm gonna sign my little sketch here. Jim. Free heart. Celebrate the gift of life. Have a wonderful day. And remember, today happens only once in your lifetime. Make it a fabulous one. If you enjoyed the video, like it down below. Subscribe if you haven't. I'd love to stay in touch. And uh, if you click on the little bell, uh, notifications, I will, um, I guess you'll get a little notification every time I have a new video that comes out comment if you'd like, and uh, have a wonderful life until we get together again. Bye-bye.